There were nearly 50 cars on hand tonight for the USMTS stop at Jackson Motor Speedway in Jackson, Mississippi. It had been nearly a decade since the last time the series had raced in the state. There was a shower just before the USMTS feature rolled off, and it put the night's outcome in serious jeopardy. There was a break of nearly an hour and a half to roll the racetrack back in, and when we did, we were witness to an outstanding main event. Kay Dillard was the night's winner. Let's head down to Victory Lane and hear from Bryce Hall as he caught up with him, as well as the second and third place finishers. One for the driver out of Robilene, Louisiana. Take us through tonight's race. Man, it was a, uh, you know, they get ev did everything they could with it after that rain. It just got so rough, and, uh, man, it was pretty treacherous. Uh, I'm more slap out, I ain't going to lie. Uh, I kind of felt like the bottom was getting better there at the end. I come up on some lap cars, and it felt like they could kind of pull back away from me off the corner, and uh, it's just kind of hard to move down after, you know, the majority of the race has been top dominant. So, uh just kind of stuck up there after that restart. I just I couldn't steer very good. I got real tight. Uh, about tore the wall down a couple times, I think. But uh, you know, thankful was able to ha hang on to it. The uh, we saw the nose fold up under this thing early in the race. Any effect on steering early on? Man, I don't know if it's a coincidence, but we got to where we couldn't steer, especially getting in three. Uh, you know, these things are getting pretty air de dependent now. Uh, you know, to be modified. I've had it happen before, so. Uh, I'd nearly bet that's probably what happened, but uh, ain't too much you can do with it. You know, the track as rough as it was, but uh, I'm just glad I was able to hang on to it. Take us through that uh, pass there through lap traffic. You mentioned lap traffic a little bit. Pretty big there to take the lead. Yeah, Trevor ran a really good race. I'm not sure where he ended up. Uh, I, was, I was really proud for him. Um, I didn't feel like we were quite that good, and we got on the bottom. I kind of feel like I made up a little ground, and uh, I seen him mess up a little bit in three, and I got into that lap car. And I figured uh, that might be my only chance, so we kind of die bombed it in there and you know slid him. But uh, like I said, I'm not sure what we how we were there at the end. But uh, I feel like like I said, I just couldn't steer at all, and kind of feel like I was a sitting duck there for a while. Here's shake after all the rain here this evening. Pretty good racetrack. Yeah, I think most of the time when you get rain, uh, you know, in the middle of a program, it's never a, a good thing. But tonight, I think it really paid off, to be honest with you. They did a tremendous job getting the track back ready to go. And, uh, man, I tell you, when we went out to pack, it, it felt better than it did when we went out for hot laps. So uh, I hope it, we put on a good show for everybody. It, it felt good. You know, uh, I think we started, what, 10th and come home second. So there was definitely some passing happening out there. So uh, hopefully we put on a good show for everybody. Once you were able to get up to the field, it looked like Cade was pretty well able to get out and go. Did you think any time in lap traffic or any time during a green flag run you were going to have a shot? Uh, you know, to be honest with you, on that last rest or the second to last restart when I got into third, uh, I was thinking I was going to have something for him because I was the only one in front of me running the bottom. So, uh, but you, man, he got a heck of a jump on the start, and he just fired off so much better than me. And I just never, I wasn't going after that caution like I was before. Uh, I don't know if it was heating the tires. I, I mean, obviously he had the car to beat. Uh, definitely not making any excuses. But, uh, you know, if we can run second to him, we're doing pretty good. So he's probably the hottest, hottest driver in the country. So Are there at the end? Yeah, I went to the top over here and about killed myself in the wall, hit a hole, and uh, decided that I probably don't need to go up there and bonsai anymore. So I kind of just started rolling the bottom and getting better and better. And then I got the bottom on one of the restarts and got a good start. And then I would just... We, uh, I mean, it was a really good run for us. Uh, thank all my sponsors, um, all the crew, just everyone that helps, and uh, see, uh, see if one of these days we can get a win.